Hey, hey, welcome to the Wasteland. I'll be your guide today. This is Mad Hobbit. Welcome to my Hobbit Hole. Now, we're going to be doing a steel run today. We're going to be gathering up as much iron ore as we can. And on this run, I usually get about 380 to 420 iron ore. First thing you're going to need is your excavator power armor. Now, in case you missed my last video, where I covered lead ore, that what excavator power armor does while you're mining, it'll actually quadruple the yield you get. Instead of only getting one ore per proc, you get four. Sometimes you get eight, sometimes you get 12, but it's always in multiples of four, which is gonna come in very handy for the task that we're doing. Now, it'll also guarantee that you collect over a thousand steel. I usually collect around 1,200 steel. Also, little side note, these red stags are always a static spawn, so you will always find them here. And red stag meat's useful. You can grill it. Get about 20 extra carry weight with it comes in handy whenever you're sitting there at a station and over encumbered. Now, our goal is at the bottom of the mountain. You're going to see that electrical tower there. We're going to head straight towards it. Then you'll notice on the back of this tower, there's a little cliff. This is our starting point every time. There's also Brad Stag here as I said, but our main objective will be on the back side of this, is where we're starting. We're going to come here to this little drop off, it's just a slight one, give you all an idea of what we're looking at, then this right here, you get your first three war. Now, I forgot that this is my second run that I'm Whenever I started filming this, so I actually had about 380 ore already in my inventory. But no worries, I'm going to show you progressively how much ore we're going to I'm going to be gathering throughout this as we as we progress. So you'll find three more veins at the bottom. Then we're going to head up the hill where there'll be located five more veins. And then to the left of that will be two more veins. In case you're wondering why I'm starting these video series, it's because, well, I get asked all the time, how do you do this? Where do you find this? How do you find them? So I just want to make a helpful video series not only for the new players coming to the game but for some of the older players too I, I think it might be helpful because I know a lot of veterans out there that don't know some of the information I'm going to be sharing so after gathering those five we're going to go over to the left just a little bit and you're going to find three more ore veins <clears throat> Now in the in-between, I'm also going to talk about a little bit about smelting. Um, there are certain things that are not worth smelting. And I'm also going to show you a couple other different types of metals you can get off of this from the veins. Now we're going to head over here until you see a closed fissure site at the bottom of the hill. Now, we're going to go straight up the hill from here and a little bit to the right, and we're going to have three more iron ore veins. So, in case you're keeping count, that is... Fifteen iron ore veins so far, and at least four per hit. Now, the next location we're going to go is 
to the second radio tower. Radio tower, electrical tower, whatever. Now, you're going to notice underneath this... Oh, yeah. One of, the, one of the fun parts of Fallout. Sometimes things are halfway buried. And you just have to laugh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get it either. But anyway, there's going to be a little target range at, at the bottom of this one. Now, I'm telling I'm showing you these things as little place markers because even when I even though I do this run regularly, I was getting lost. So, I had to make little a little road map for myself and use like geographical markers to keep myself on track in it and if we go straight up the hill from here to this first little ledge we're gonna find five more veins now there are certain elements that aren't worth smelting one of them being let's use for example aluminum Okay, you're going to use four acid and three aluminum in order to smelt two aluminum. So, it makes it not worth it. You actually will get less than what you started with. Now, for this next part, we're going to go till you find Deathclaw which you can usually hear it pop out of the ground. It's a low level, usually lo level 21. Up here we have two iron aluminum veins, and then to the right of that we have three more iron ore veins. So whenever it comes to smelting ore in this game in particular, you have to kind of weigh in, like treat it like an investment, okay? Some things you have to weigh in how much resources you're putting into it versus how much resources you're getting out of it. Like aluminum, for example. You put in four acid, you put in three aluminum ore, you get two aluminum scrap. Now, if it was economics, then we'd say that was a bad investment because you're putting in more than you're getting from it and that's simple economics we have two more coming up right after this impasse so we have two more iron ore veins right here it's in this little nook and if you ever have the daily challenge kill a mole rat brood mother this is a static spawn for it. You will find her here every time. Without fail. Doesn't matter if someone comes and kills it. She still respawns. Okay, so we're going to go on after this. Um, we're going to keep going. Basically following the cliff. You don't have to go over everything like I do of it, but you know, what fun's going around and not getting hung up on everything, but really. Now we're gonna come to this impasse. I call them impasses, I mean, that's kind of what they are. They're just paths that go, that take you to the top of the mountain. After that, we're gonna have three more iron veins right here yeah make sure you get all of them so you got one two and three so then we're going to continue following the cliff until we're we're actually going to come to another impasse right here and you can mark that by it's got the tree with the glowing sap and try not to get hung up on the limbs like I did. Those stupid twigs. Always in the way. Laying around. I'm sorry. But 
after that, we're going to go start heading down the mountain. Now, I took, a, I, I took a little bit long way, just so I could show that if you need a little XP, there's a little encampment there. It's got scorched in it, so eh, it's up to you. You can go make their day bad. But we're going to come to this road, and you're going to keep going until you come to this red truck. Now, I don't... I. I the, the, this scene is always hilarious to me because it's like the epitome of a very bad day. But just past this, we're going to have two more ore veins. And then... No, really, let's get back to this. I mean, come on. This is like the worst day ever. This guy wrecks his Jeep, calls his buddy for a tow, and then the bombs hit. It's like the worst day ever. I mean, really, if you're having a bad day at work, just think about this guy. This, this is terrible. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head down the road. Just follow the road till just after this, si this post or fencing. And you'll find the last three ore veins on this trip. And this is my still run. So... Yeah, like, share, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notifications button because I have a lot of good content coming up. And just as a side note, this made 2,700 uh, still scrap. <laughs>